So let's see what render blocks actually are. So when you pack a block, you get these empty areas. And this area over here is empty item. And you can also manually enter some info over here or stretch it over here. And these things are actually media items, empty media items. So if you see over here, we have media items. So the idea is to have some empty content to just visually represent that some of these blocks are together. Uh, by default they get separate colors, special colors. So when blocks are packed, they are grouped with these empty MIDI and label items and you can move them. But you should not do things like this because of these parts over here. So if you really want to edit render block, you need to unpack it, make your edits or add some new content and then repack it. You can destroy blocks by selecting all and hitting destroy action and make sure that you have item grouping enabled because if this is disabled this is not going to work properly. You will be able I think to render them but ed editing editing is gonna be really annoying. When they are packed they should not be edited. When you want to edit them you unpack them. There's also another way to pack blocks and you have seen it already and it's packing clusters. This script will detect clusters and pack them into separate blocks and they will be named according to the track and item order. So this one is on the first track, so this one has 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. If you want, you can change some things over here. You can change where this window appears. You can change how it is anchored to the window or to the mouse cursor. Something like this. So this is just a visual preference. I just keep it centered in the screen. You can change the text size inside the editor. Let's say it's tiny like this. So I don't know. I keep it uh, like medium and you can also uh, using F1, F2, F3 and F4 for these shortcuts. Okay. And inside this naming editor, you also have this preference to turn off the prefix. So let's say no prefix name. If you click over here, you can click OK and then we'll not have the prefix. And But uh, when you run it again, you will have prefix uh, back. You need to run different action to actually have this disabled on start. One other thing is that uh, you have this naming editor. You can set some prefix and the index should be maintained or if you add some suffix, yeah, so you can add a suffix as well. But I don't know if you really want to do that, but you can. You can also use this naming editor to name regular items. So let's see, over here we can name these like explosion as well. And rendering single items is also supported, but these items are going to be rendered through track. So they're not going to be rendered through master. Keep that in mind. If you want to have a more flexible naming scheme, you can also use wildcards. So let's say SFX year and then RB block day. So if you want to use all the default render blocks, you can use this custom wildcard. Let's see how it works. Here it is. The other thing which you can do is to use something like this. So let's say green explosion, yellow explosion, red explosion. So if you define backslashes in your naming scheme, you will have folders created. And let's see what happened. So now we have SFX 2021 green, red and yellow. And under here we have explosion, red and yellow. This is something to keep in mind. It is also possible and very flexible. Thank you for watching and see you soon.